you can now publish videos to Alexandria directly from the web. So this is going to be how. Um, uh, basically, just like any other um, uploading service, you need to go ahead and create an account. In this case, you're basically registering a wallet uh, with our, our blockchain. Um, so this is the piece of information that you're going to need to have. This is actually your login. It's called your publisher ID. So go ahead and save that. Uh, this one is your address. I'll be able to get that later, but I want to go ahead and save it for myself anyway. Um, so I'm logged into that wallet. As you can see, I have zero balance, so I'm going to go ahead and buy some flow. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull out my Bitcoin wallet and send some Bitcoin to it. In this case, we waited about three minutes in the future. That'll be zero comp for um, below about a buck or so. Got ourselves 60 florin and 60.55. Uh, hit OK there. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to register a publisher ID. So uh, you can name it anything you'd like. Uh, the default, if you don't want to pay for an address, uh, for a name rather, is just the first six characters of the address. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for now um, and put in an email address. This isn't to contact the publisher, this is just to get an avatar from Gravatar's API. Um, and so that transaction has now been sent to the blockchain and there is a new publisher in Alexandria with that name. So now I go ahead and start filling out fields. This looks just like kind of uploading to YouTube, for example. So I give it a name. I'm going to go ahead and skip the uh, director name and uh, distributor fields and go down to release here. This is this year. Uh, now I already kind of knew I was going to be doing this so I wrote myself up a description. Oh, first let me go ahead and put in that um, publisher name that I registered just for my own notes. Now here's the description that I wrote up for myself. Copy that in and paste it right in the description choose myself a preview image. Cool. And then I can just go ahead and drop the video that I want to publish right into this drop zone. Um, I'm going to go ahead and skip over the um, pricing information for now. We'll do another video to kind of talk in more detail about that or go ahead and publish and experiment and see how it, what it does. Um, but as you can see, I'm adding some extra files. We'll add a couple of different file types. So this is just kind of like the extra stuff that would go along with this video. In this case, it's an image from uh, when it was happening and uh, the web page about the event itself. I'll go ahead and drop in my uh, payment address, uh, not for any required payment, but for tips. Um, and now we'll go ahead and preview it, make sure that it's the right video since it is going into the blockchain forever. <clears throat> and hit submit. And so now what's going on here is um, we are uploading the files that I chose to a server that has IPFS on it, and that server is adding those files directly to the IPFS network. Then it comes up with uh, the format of the message that's going to be adding to the blockchain, and sends that message. So that's how it will add that particular information to the index. Um, and then we wait as long as it takes for it to actually be uh, confirmed, found by a miner, go into the blockchain, and discovered by our front end. So we skipped our little wait there, and it shows up right at the top. And we can try and play it right away. You can see the preview image starts first, and then as soon as we hit play, it starts the video. And let's try jumping a little bit. Good. And a little bit more. Good. Cool. And let's take a look at the extra two pieces that I included. Uh, again, since they're free, I can just click on them and it will download directly. So we've got a JPEG here and uh, the zip file of the event itself, which was really quite an incredible event. Thank you to the Internet Archive for putting it on. Here we are presenting, and uh, Sir Tim Berners-Lee making a comment, and here is the 
events website itself. So obviously you can publish pretty much anything to Alexandria. So there you go. That's a way to get started.